Hey everyone, today we are going to be tier listing all of the non-survivor cosmetics in the game of DBD. Yes, I still don't know if I can actually call them by what they're called without YouTube not liking it. So, non-survivors, it is. Anywho, yes, I did do this video about a year ago, but with four new chapters and a lot of new cosmetics released, I thought it was time for an update. So let's get to it, shall we? Obviously, this is a very subjective thing. What I like may not be what you like, and what you like may not be what I like. So it's totally okay if you disagree with me on any of these. Please let me know down in the comments which are your favorite and least favorite. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tier listing them based on how I feel about their cosmetics as a whole package. Do I think they've got more creative cosmetics or less creative? Do I like them? Do I not like them? It's going to be, like I said, purely subjective, and I'm not going to use a lack of cosmetics directly against them. However, fewer cosmetics does mean I have less to rate and makes it more likely that I'll have less to like in that case or less to dislike. All right, so obviously we're starting off with Trapper, as you should. I said this before, but I really love a lot of Trappers. I think the hockey, this one was released since the last video, and this is one of my favorites of his, but I just think he's got a ton of them that really change up the look of his character quite a bit. Some of them, not, well, not this one, obviously, but some of them draw out lore from his character a lot. Uh, not this one either. I, I, this is one of my favorites though, just because it's so like disgusting looking. You know, you got him in a minor outfit there, you know, an actual trapper outfit, which is fitting with his name at least. This one makes him look real tough, you know. A few recolors. This one's just really intimidating with the welding mask and the, the machete that's got the, 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 the melted heated parts because words are hard. Another recolor, another recolor, and then some recolors of his... He doesn't have a lot of default recolors, which is nice because some of them have a ton. So I really overall love trappers and think that I, uh, am I gonna put them S? Uh, let, let's start them in A. I'm gonna start them in A because I want room to go up. I, I will review at the end, unless I forget, and I might bump them up at the end, but I don't wanna start off with an S. I wanna leave us a little room to go up, but I may come back and put them up in S because I, I do, I really just love a lot of his. I think they're really creative. They really change them up quite a bit and make him look really intimidating. For being one of the probably less strong killers in the game, he's, he's super intimidating. And yes, I know I just called him, you know, a killer and not a non-survivor, but that's because we're out of the first 15 seconds. So I should be clear to say that now because, you know, YouTube, all that. All right, now we're on to Wraith. I also really love a lot of Wraiths. Not quite as many as Trapper. I'm not quite in love with them the way I am with Trappers, but I, I like this one, just all the trash like hanging off of him, all the, you know, the his, his weapon is made out of a bunch of bent signs. Like this one, actually, now I'm, t I'm starting to like them even more. I like his opera looking one. Dude, I've never actually, is there, a, is that a brain or a heart that's pumping in his, that is sick. Wow, this one's really cool. I love that they make him a candle. This is, this is hilarious to me. I'm not, I don't really understand it, but I love it. This one's real gnarly looking too. Holy cow. I can't remember if some of these have been added or I'm just forgetting some of them because it's been a while since I've looked at the shop. This one's kind of basic. Okay, we got three colors now. He's got a lot of them. Obviously, I've got, I own these two. Why did I buy this one? I don't know. This one is probably my favorite blighted skin of all. So he's got a lot of good ones. So I'm going to also put him, I, I, I would say I feel the same about him as I feel about Trapper. So I'm going to put him in A. Now we got Hillbilly and his default one, eh, it's it's okay. I don't know. It's fitting for him, but it, yeah, it's nothing to write home about. His blighted skin is kind of gnarly. It's not my favorite, but it's kind of gnarly. Uh, I love, I love his goatee here. There's the, the long braided beard. That's hilarious to me. And what, what is his weapon here? Propane nozzle? Is that what it's called? Propane cudgel. Never mind. Not nozzle. This is his beach one, I think, which was released in the last year since I made the last tier list. Uh, this one, he's like wearing a pig. He's wearing a, a combo pig. That took some engineering to stitch those together and then make, so he's made a hat that like stretches or this is, this is grotesque. This like, this makes pig actually look a little more reserved because this this is gross. Okay, and this one is probably the most disgusting skin in the game, in my opinion. This one makes me want to... Uh, I love this one too. Look at his. He's got a... A shotgun that he's turned into a club. I like the I like the outdoorsy look, or I guess the Automo Boys. I don't know if that's a lore reference or not. Uh, this one he's like all charred up. Looks like he's uh, made a few mistakes with fire there. He's uh, a Boy Scout in this one, I guess, with a bangle like a really gnarly like wooden club. I see. I love the early ones how they make the the weapons are. This is a cow's leg. That's hilarious. What is it? Yeah, a cow's leg. This one's probably one of my favorites here. Bunny Trapper, I guess. What what is your weapon on this one? What is it? A shock hammer. I don't know how that relates to. The the outfit, but sure. This one's good too. He's got the shotgun again, just no spikes on it this time. So he just hits you with a shotgun, the back end of a shotgun. The milkman, obviously this one's hilarious. <laughs> 
I like the the hat there. That's that's great. Uh, then we got all of his recolors, right? So a lot going on there. I mean, they're okay. But I really do like Hillbillies quite a bit too. Do I like them as much? I think I do like them as much. We're, we're going to start off strong. They're going to be A to start with. We're not just going to put them all in the high tiers, but... I the for the first three I really love them. They've also got a lot of different variations, so there's a lot for me to like, even if I don't like them all. So that's probably why they're a little bit higher because they got more going on for them too. Our next up we have Nurse and hers. Her defaults eh, it's okay. It's it's borderline creepy. Her blighted skin is gross for sure. I don't love it. This one's creepy with her mouth hanging open like that. I don't love it though. This one like just gives me the heebie-jeebies because of all the little scorpion like neon scorpions so again i don't super understand this in relation to her is this one of the greek ones i think it is actually one of the uh the themed ones so i don't think it actually directly relates to her and we got this one going on it's okay i don't know i don't love it this is her like world war one looking one probably one of my more favorites i guess because i like the army look the army nurse look uh, this one just feels tragic to me obviously she's a tragic character continuing with the tragic the, this more uh, is this like a funeral I, I don't know I don't understand how it relates to the description but anyways I, it, it's okay I don't know I don't love a lot of hers to be honest the accident this is probably my favorite one just because it's really somewhat disturbing with all the shrapnel and then we got this one which is kind of like one of the earlier ones this one it's like she's wrapped in a biohazard bag that's I guess interesting and more basically recolors of that and then her recolors of her base ones which none of them blue one's kind of pretty but that's a weird way to describe nurses skins but anyways I, I don't love hers to be honest I do not like hers I don't know if I want to put her in D but I'm gonna put her in C I don't I don't super love hers to be honest they're not they're not super great anywho all right next up is huntress so we've obviously got the crypt tv one that one's very disturbing because this doesn't seem like a mask to me anymore that's why it's I, I know this is this is the one that's supposed to turn her into a totally different character so or one of the ones so it's this is this is nightmare fuel for sure we got the baba yaga which i think is a very cool skin yeah just very very cool i love the little three face thing going on that's pretty disturbing a lot of the effects it has i don't have the music on but i believe i don't know if it changes the lobby music but i know it does change the chase music which i think is a neat touch the axe is pretty sweet too uh then we got the the alice in wonderland skin which i don't i i like it i think it's I think it's a really neat skin for her, especially with the kind of bear skull looking head mask there. And I don't know, it's very regal fitting. Then we got her, you know, uh, the, the dating sim version of her, if you like that. I love the World War One one. This is the World War One one. Anyways, if you read her lore and read about her uh, taking on the Russian and German soldiers, it's just utterly terrifying lore to read. And this, this is really cool to tie into that. And then a lot of her is just really, really gnarly and cool. This one, she's all like burnt up. Then we got the recolors. And then we got her blighted one, which, you know, her blighted one's okay. I, I love the kitty. Hence why I bought it. And it's at the bottom here, but I love the kitty. Kitty's one of my favorites. You know, they're really good. I don't know if I like them as a whole as much as I like the A tier ones. So I'm going to stick her in B tier for now. I, I, they're good. Um, I don't know. I might shift it around as we go. Uh, I'm, I'm indifferent. Uh, not indifferent. I'm on the edge with a lot of these. All right, Myers. Myers uh, doesn't have a lot going on for him. You know, obviously this is classic Myers. Have to, it, it's good because of that, right? And then we got Escaped Patient, which just, it cracks me up because he's probably the only person in existence who can still look intimidating in a hospital gown. And yet he's still just as, if not more terrifying, in a hospital gown, which I don't know that you can say about anybody else. So I I really do like his two optional skins. I can't switch back to his default. But anywho, I mean, there's not a lot of them there. So I only have the two to judge off of. And one is obviously classic Myers. And the other one is, you know, I, I just think it's kind of hilarious that he's running around the entity's realm in a hospital gown and his little boxer shorts underneath. And those might be briefs. I don't know. He's still got the IV sticking out of his arm. And he's just, he still is intimidating as all get out. I'm going to put a B tier. I think... I I think they're good. I like them. Not a lot going on, but I like them. All right, then we have Hag. Hag has a truly disgusting blighted one. I think her base one is kind of, eh. again, the Crypt TV one. This is a yeah, Crypt TV one. This one's real gnarly. I'm not really familiar with Crypt TV that much, so I don't know the background behind it, but this is probably one of my favorites for her. This one's pretty gnarly too. Got that, what is that, a snake on her arm? Is that a snake? It looks like a snake. It looks like chunks of snakes. It looks like snakes with the heads cut off. That's what it is. Okay. I don't know if that makes it more or less creepy. This one, I mean, it's okay. I don't know. This one, for some reason, I like. I like the, the kind of question marks around the oozing blood and the kind of gnarly tentacle face. 
This one makes her look like a evil Tinkerbell, I guess. I don't know. Um, I got the blue one down here. Kind of like the blue one. I don't know. I, I don't super. These are all her recolors. They're just they're a whole lot of recolors. And then there's ones that kind of like try to act like they're not recolors. This one is changes up her hair quite a bit. Gives her a little dress, I guess. This one is disgusting. Utterly disturbing. Her like melded with two people. Like, oh my gosh, what's the story behind this one? The abomination. Her grandmother warned her not to trifle with such power. Okay, so that doesn't explain anything. The mark of power carved into her forehead allowed her to access unnatural abilities, but when they came a repulsive transformation, I would say that's accurate. Someone or something or someone grew within her, its bones protruding, limbs reaching for freedom from the prison of flesh. Ooh, yeah. So this is disgusting. I'm not really sure I understand. I guess she messed with magic and another person started growing inside of her. Okay. I, I don't, eh, to be honest, I really don't like hers that much. I'm going to put it in C tier. I think there's a few that I'll dislike more. So I'm going to leave D tier open for now. She's on a, like a low C tier. She's on the precipice of D tier for me. I just, yeah, not a big fan. All right, doctor. All right, we got another Crypt TV one, which is gnarly, the no, no eyes and the grinning toothy thing there and the shocking wrench. What is that wrench for? Seriously, who, who needs a wrench that big? Then the blighted skin is utterly disgusting in so many ways. That was a weird black cloud across the bottom there. Anyways, uh, his tie, poor tie. He got kind of like obliterated by the blighted sermon. Sermon, serum, words of heart, but he's... Got multiple eyes now, which is gnarly. His jaw has disappeared somewhere and he's kind of drooling a little bit and he's got pumps going through it. It's it's a lot of detail on this one. Kind of like the weapon too. This one, see, I haven't really looked at this one. This one's gross. He's got some sort of tumor-ish but natural growth on him and his garment is all stained. This one, uh, okay, again, with the lack of eyes. I really like this weapon. This weapon's cool. I like that a lot. All right, and this one, oh, I'd forgotten about the back here where he's got his spine opened up. So he looks like, I guess he's supposed to be a surgeon slash, I don't know. This this one might be my favorite just because of how gnarly it is. Cause it, you've got kind of like a patient, like these are patient slippers, but then he's got like the doctor headband with the eye things like he's a surgeon. So I guess he's his own patient for surgery? Question mark? I don't know. Anyways, the plague doctor one, this one's just cool. I like it a lot. This one, <laughs> I don't know why. I just, this one's unset. Look, he's got the gears in his head. Kind of like a cyborg, like an old school steampunk cyborg looking thing. And then we got another plague doctor one. Do I like that one? I don't know which one I like more actually. I like them both. This one's like your escaped insane asylum doctor, I guess, with the exposed brain and the thing shocking his eyes. I feel like that would be detrimental to, you know, the whole being a killer in the entity's realm thing. But this weapon is gnarly. Look at that. When I did the whole like killer versus killer battle thing, uh, I said his weapon wouldn't do very much, but this one definitely would. This one's like full of like scalpel blade things that, oh gosh, that'd be terrifying. We got this one with a little like, I don't know, Tesla coil thing going on there. All the, what are those tubes or wires running to his eyes? eyes and mouth. I don't know. This one's okay. I guess this was early on in his transformation. Same with this one, just somewhat of a recolor, also somewhat of a recolor. And then we got the actual recolors, which again, I don't super care for the recolors for the most part. A few of them are okay on some of them, but really I'm just going to rate it based on the non-recolor skin. So I, I like doctors a lot. Doctor is going to be, uh, I'm going to put Dr. S here. I like his a lot. His have a lot going on. All right. On to Bubba. Now, I'm going to be fully honest. Obviously, this one's cool because it's, you know, pretty much, I mean, it's Bubba, right? I think all of these are from, I haven't seen the movies, to be honest, so I can't tell you, but I, I, I would imagine they're all from the movies. I just, I don't like any of them. It's cool that they're accurate, but I, I'm not a huge fan of his skin. So to me, uh, uh, he's going in D tier for me. Now, I imagine if you're a big fan of the movies, you're probably upset with me right now, and that's fine. I would totally respect you putting them higher. For me, I'm just, I'm not a fan of the movies because I haven't seen them. And I, they just kind of are just like gross, but not in a like gnarly way that the doctor or something. And there's not a whole lot going on with them in, in my mind. So anywho, that for me, he's D tier. Now, Freddy obviously doesn't have any other than his base one, which his base one is spot on, right? Like that's, that's Freddy. It, again, pretty much direct out of the movie, right? But... There's no other skins to buy. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's Freddy, right? So if you're a big Freddy fan, I totally understand you wanting it higher just because of the one. Cause again, I'm not going to count the fact that there's not a lot of skins, meaning more than one against him. But for me, I'm not like, Ooh, blown away by that one. But if you're a huge Freddy fan, I can understand if you were and happy with that, but I feel like it's a little bit lacking in total. It's not one of the coolest ones to me. That makes sense. 
A lot of them are so much better. All right, pig. So her default, her default's okay. I don't, I don't love her default. I really like this one, the biker look. And the other ones are okay. They're okay. I don't know. Somebody who has seen the Saw movies, especially the ones with Amanda, tell me, are these all like from the movies or are they just kind of inspired by the movies? This is my favorite by far. Some of her weapons are really cool. That one's super gnarly. That one's just regular. And then that one's like going back and forth and serrated. That's, and this is the drill. I mean, they're all, the, the weapons are gnarly for sure. I mean, hers are okay. I don't know. I don't love them, but I'm going to put them C tier. Hers are okay. There, there's the one, this one I, I really like. And then the rest I'm just kind of meh about. So overall, I, I feel, I feel C tier is fitting overall. All right, next up is Clown. And Clown has an utterly disgusting blighted one. Who did I say? I, I know I said Wraith had the, Wraith had my favorite blighted skin. I can't remember... I think I said Nurse might have had the most disgusting, but I take it back because I forgot about Clowns. Clowns is the most disgusting. Look, his belly is like throbbing in and out. He's got all this ooze. He's coming. He looks like a jack-o'-lantern, which I don't know, is somehow fitting for him. This one's just real nasty. A lot of his are nasty, like just gross. Like, ugh. The chicken one cracks me up. Uh, it's hilarious. Gross and hilarious at the same time. Same with the elephant guy. <laughs> it's just so gnarly because it's so dirty and grimy and ugh, you're just... This one is hideous. What the heck? He's got a bit of shrapnel coming out of his leg there. Uh, that seems like it would prevent you from going very fast. This one, I don't even... <laughs> it's like the wooden toy jester thing going on. This one's, I mean, if you're scared of clowns, this one's probably a, a deeply terrifying one. I don't know. This one... <laughs> oh, gosh. This one's like failed backyard birthday party clown. Clown. This one's gnarly, but... Kind of like Joker-ish there with the, oh, ooh, yeah. When he grins like that, it gets this one gets real creepy when he does that. And then you got the recolors, which are me, you know, but only a couple of recolors, which is nice. I I don't like it when they have like 27 recolors and they're like, here, here's a multitude of skins, and they're like, they're all the same, just a different color. I like when they have a lot of variety. So I don't know, his are his are his crack me up for sure. I don't super love them on the whole. I'm gonna put him C tier, but I think he's got a lot of funny ones for sure. All right, next up is Spirit. Now, Spirit, we've got, obviously, the Blighted one, which, again, he, she's giving Clown a run for her money on the terms of the grossest one because she's got the little Blighted tumors there, and it's cool how where her appendages separate from being sliced apart that uh, it's, it's dripping. That's cool. Uh, this one, so this is the uh, Attack on Titan, right? Yep, Attack on Titan, which I, I haven't seen the anime, so I don't know. This one's kind of... This one's gnarly with the face, I guess. Uh, this one's cool. Very. Oh, this is the um, this is the uh, the hooked on you collection one. That's right. I was like, I couldn't remember. This one might be my favorite. You know what this one reminds me of? This one reminds me of that new Silent Hill game coming out quite a bit, actually. This one's really cool. Kind of a, a demented Princess Elsa skin there. This one's gnarly with the the jaw being sliced open and kind of hanging there. Like, oh gosh. Uh. This one's cool. I like the I like the stick as a weapon. Okay, what is it called? The kendo, splintered kendo. Okay, I knew there was going to be a uh, a better term than stick, but I like that. This one's kind of the armored oni look or kimono, right? Yep. Yeah, a lot of these are spot on for her. This one's interesting because it's like she's got the flowers on her skin, but it's not like fabric. It's actually like part of her. I don't. Are this is that just tattooed? I guess I don't know. No idea. Got the schoolgirl outfit, and then you got just kind of some recolors with different tattoos and different different things. Um, this is my favorite right here. Uh, obviously, the one that I've bought, so hence that would be why it's my favorite. Yeah, I just love the weapon on this one. So I don't know. I, I I'm not a super big fan of hers. I don't know. I'm not. I'm gonna put her C tier too, on the whole. There's like that one would be S tier for me. I love the armored one, but. The rest of them are, I mean, they're, they're okay. Uh, yeah, they're okay. I don't love them as, as much as like Huntress or Myers or the ones above. So yeah, so far I'm, I'm happy with where I'm putting them in terms of next to each other. I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to keep them in those tiers, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I might want to bump Spirit up to B, but then it means I have to bump everybody else up a tier. And that's just, I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it there for now. And next up we have Legion and Legion's, I think are some of my favorites. The blighted skin is just utterly disturbing because it has all four of them 
melded together. You got one back there, you got one here, and then you got two there. It's just, that's disturbing as all get out. This kind of tech gear collection, it's neat. Don't super love it. I really like this one. Uh, I just, I like the backpack with all the, the weapons sticking out of it. It's kind of like the whole Legion's arsenal right there. I don't know why you have to uh, chain your backpack closed, but it seems like you should just be able to zip that. I don't know. Need a new backpack, I guess. But I really like the neon mask. He's got a, like a smoke grenade there, I guess. This one's okay. Uh, it's kind of Terminator looking. Atlas Flint Mask, the iconic mask of his favorite character, a brutal thief named Atlas Flint. Okay, so I guess this is his cosplay, sort of. This Neo one, it's 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 neat. What is this? This is Susie. She's the more timid one, right? So, which makes sense with the, the stance. I, I do love what... One of the things I really love about Legion is how each of the different characters' cosmetics really bring out the personality. Now, I don't know, like... Eh, I don't know if I should rate that in because that's kind of more the lobby stance than the actual cosmetics, but it's kind of part, I guess it's part of the cosmetic. I don't know. I'll, I'll factor it in a little bit. Okay. How about that? So, but I love how they bring out the character's personality just with how they stand and kind of hold themselves in the lobby. She's got very weird hands. I'm not going to lie. Those hands seem very disproportionate for the rest of her body. All right. And then we've got the, obviously the Silent Hill inspired ones here, one for each of them. And again, you can see their personality come out in the way that even they stand with the bunny outfits. I think that's awesome. And I love that they're, you know, obviously a Silent Hill reference. These are real gnarly, kind of frightening. This one's okay. Kind of that, again, kind of neon tech look. This one, the paper mask disturbs me. Like the paper mache mask with the out of proportion, kind of warped look to it. And the, the streamer hair, which... Oh, I guess that's actually busting out of a hole. I thought it was just clipping through, but it's actually busting out of a hole through the back of her hood. But this is obviously the cheerleader uniform, all spray painted, and she's got the neon band-aids too. Like there's a lot of detail in this one, especially for a green skin. I don't know why, I really like just the simple, like I, I was always kind of like, I wore jean jackets and stuff in high school and with a hoodie and all that. So I, I don't know, this this just like, this is my style, I guess, if if I was to be a member of the Legion. Weird thing to say, but then you got the flannel too. This is probably one of my favorites, the kind of, uh, kind of almost like anonymous style mask there, just the blank features. This one's real, like the mask is all broken and stitched together and held together. Like these, even these uh, green ones have a lot of detail to them. That's the same one, just a recolor of each other. And then we got the recolor, the sort of recolors, but then uh, here's the other thing with the recolors, like bring out the, the, you know, the athletic jacket for Frank. Got Julie, got Frank again. I guess it's just Frank and Julie back and forth. I was thinking they were gonna do all four. Uh, this is my favorite one for Legion. I don't know, this one just looks real intimidating and tough. And it's also strategic because it blends in more. So they have a hard time, survivors have a hard time spotting you. Anyways, but here's the kicker, the hunk skin. Absolutely love Resident Evil, obviously, and love that they put this in the game and love that they, it wasn't a survivor skin, that they actually made it a Legion skin, because I think it's perfect. And just everything about this skin, uh, I think is great. So Legion, Legion is probably one of my favorites. Do I want to put them S? I don't know. I don't know if they're, are they S worthy? Hmm. Because again, I, I love the personalities that they bring out and the, the way that they really, even through just how the skins are composed, both in terms of how they stand, how they bring out the personality, just in how they carry themselves, but also in how some of them are crafted, betrays like confidence or insecurity or stuff like that. And then you've got the hunk skin. So I'm, I'm going to put them in S. I think Legion, Legion skins are great. Yeah, I love them. Then we have my main plague, obviously. Her uh, bladed skin, I've never been a huge fan of, to be honest. And she's got some cool ones. A little like serpent thing going there. This almost looks like at least the the... The head crown looks like a ready for battle type thing. This one's, I don't know if that's Egyptian. We got the serpents again. So it's kind of a recolor. No, it's not a recolor of that. Just borrow some theme. No, it's a recolor of this one. That's what it is. Okay, I messed up. Then we got the blue. This one's pretty. I like the blue and the purple shiny bits. This one's, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't truly like that one a whole lot. And then that's just a recolor of the one I don't like. And then these are just basically yellow tier recolors. And then we got the brown tier recolors. Okay. And then this one's my favorite by far. I just love the red and the gold. I think this is really good. I don't know. I, it's a bit, uh, I know I love Plague, but hers are okay. I'm going to put them C tier. This, this one, 
I really love. This one I would put S tier by itself, but all the rest of them, uh, I don't I don't love a lot of her skins, so I pretty much only run this one. So she's going to be C tier, which hurts, but can't be an S tier in every list plague, I guess. I don't know. Anywho. All right, we got Ghostface next, which I love his just default. I think he's just got a really tough looking default with the robe and the, the way it's put together. It's, it's real cool. This one's like gnarly. He's got ar ice arse. <laughs> he's got ice shards sticking out of him. And then he uses an ice shard as a as the weapon. That's neat. It's kind of I don't I don't know. It's it doesn't fit Ghostface at all, but it's kind of a cool thing. This one, the mask is truly creepy. And a nice change on the Ghostface look, the mask look. And I love his blighted one. His blighted one, it has the wings, it has just his chest opening up with the ribs like spiking out and this, his mask is actually like transformed and absorbed into him a little bit. It's that's this is obviously a classic ghost face, the reference to the movies, even though what they licensed was the mask and not the movies. So a little bit of DVD trivia there for you. This one I know a lot of people like with the horns and the uh, uh, I like the robe on this one quite a bit. And then we got a pseudo recolor and another recolor but we don't have any of the brown recolors which is interesting and then this one's my probably my favorite the chromed out version of him and that's just really cool the weird thing though is the the ribbons on this one get messed up a lot i feel they don't they're they're like tinsel but they don't i don't know if it's because they seem to move different i don't know or maybe it's just that they look different to me so i'm expecting them to move i don't, I don't know it kind of it bugs me a little bit but not enough i i still love this skin I mean, his are okay. I don't, I don't super love a lot of them, to be honest. So I don't know. I'm going to put him C tier as well. I'm not, I'm not in love with a lot of his skins. What I definitely say is I, I like Myers and Huntress more. So unless I move Myers and Huntress up, I, he, he's got to go, he's got to go C tier for me. All right. Next up we have Demo and sadly it's going to be hard to rate him because he's got no more skins in the shop. I do own one. Let's go back. So I can at least rate this one because this one's really cool, but hence why I bought it right before he left. He's got like the, sh the the spikes coming out of his chest. I don't know if those are like his ribs or tentacles or whatever. Did he have something burst out of his stomach? I don't know. This one's truly creepy. I like this one a lot. I know he also had the one where he's like covered in snot. So I, I don't know. His were cool for sure. Okay, there we are back. Uh, and then his, obviously his original one is spot on with the show. And I'm a huge Stranger Things fan. So I feel like I'm going to put him in B because it's... It, they got creative with a lot of his alternates and obviously his base skin is spot on. So I think that's perfect. All right, next up we have Oni and Oni has the Attack on Titan one, which is really cool. I haven't, I haven't seen the anime, but it's just a real cool looking one. So I'm sure you like it even more if you're fans of the anime. He's got the Minotaur, which is, a, which is just a really cool concept for him. This one's a cool one. I, I, don't, I don't like it enough to buy it, but it's a cool concept for him. His blighted one, which has the extra horns and the eyeball in the center of his head, and then his biceps are like oozing, and then he turns a little bit more red, I think. I don't know if that's just bleed over from his standard animation or if that's actually part of the skin's animation. Well, I guess it's just his hair. I think his hair, does his hair always turn? I can't remember. This one's really cool. I like this one a lot. The armored, one-horned, what is this? The crescent helmet. Intricate metalwork to craft a crescent-shaped helmet in the honor of the moon. So this is, I guess, in the honor of the moon. Okay. Cursed Fate. So I think this is to make him look more like the actual, like, Oni, maybe? I don't know. I don't really know Oni lore that well, but this obviously makes him look more like a creature. Okay, so his hair kind of sets on fire, but it doesn't turn red. So here it actually turns red, which is kind of a neat effect. So it is an effect on that, at least that skin, for sure. Okay, this one... I don't know, it's kind of neat. I like the the fox, the skulls that he's carrying. This one's got a lot of detail. The weapon's really cool on this one. You see, oh, I thought that was he was cut open. That's just part of his robe there. And this one's real intricate and gnarly lo looking. There's a lot of work that's done into these for sure. A lot of detail added to them. This one's nasty. He's like tough and have survived a lot of battle here. He's got arrows poking out of him. He's got gashes. Do the gashes? Yeah, the gashes light up when he... And his, he gets more horns. There's a lot of detail in this one when he transforms. Maybe there is in all of them and I've just been missing it, but there's a lot of stuff that changes when he transforms on this one. Like he gets extra horns. Does he do that on all of them? Like, well, obviously he has all these spikes that pop out. So this is this one has a lot to the transformation that I don't remember seeing on a lot of them. 
I don't know. I'm sure you'll correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that. So this one's cool. I like the colors. Kind of how is he supposed to see in that mask though? I don't know. I guess he just, I like, I like the shoes, the wooden sandals. And there's a lot I like about this one. This one, it's the same thing, just a recolor. I think I like the colors on this one a little more, a little more olive drab. And then we've got the recolors, a lot of recolors. I guess they, these do, no, it's just recolor. Not, I guess his armor, nope, it's just recolors. Does he get more horns in the normal one when he transforms? Transform, get mad, do the thing. Do the thing, stop showing me your sword play and do the thing. Get mad. Did you transform already? Good night, this is taking a while. There we go. He did kind of get a few more horns. I guess he has, did he? Am I just seeing things? I guess the horns got longer is what it is. So he does have transformations in his normal. Well, now you do it like twice in a row. Okay, cool, neat. Sat here for five minutes waiting for you to do it and then you you chain do it. Okay, so he does have some cool effects that happen. So on the whole, I mean, I like, I don't love a lot of his, but I appreciate the intricate detail that go into all of his skins and the fact that when he transforms, there's other things that happen. It's not just that he like kind of has that red flame around him. He's actually, he's got like the glowing bits and the things that change in some of them and some of them have, and they change in different ways depending on the skin. So I, I think that's really cool. It's a neat touch. I'm honestly not like wowed by a lot of his. I basically just run his basic skin because I think it's his best one in my opinion. So I'm going to kind of rate him down because of that, but then rate him back up because of how cool a lot of the detail is that they put in. And, and they they definitely work really hard on his skin. So I'm going to put him in B. I don't love them, but I appreciate them, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like rate him down, rate him back up. I don't know. I'm making up the rules as I go. All right, next up we have Deathslinger. And I think his, his standard one is pretty good. You've got the knee brace in there, which is lore accurate and explains why he, you know, is one of the slower killers in the game. So it... It explains gameplay and it's lore accurate, so I like that. Yeah, he just kind of like looks a little bit undead, I guess. This one's, uh, okay, again, that's with like the Doctor one where it's kind of nature themed as well, like a lot of growth off of him. I like the butterflies or the moths. Butterflies or moths, I don't I don't actually know. I guess his, his jacket is kind of moth themed a little bit. This one, I love the pipe and the top hat and all that. Like it's, it's real cool, the patchwork on his deal. He's got, those are huge fishing hooks. My goodness, what are you fishing for? Sharks? I love this one. This one I think is, it's gotta be Tombstone inspired, right? Like this is directly out of Tombstone. I like this one a lot. I love just the detail on the weapon. That's really cool. This one's all gross looking, just with his stringy hair and baldness. He's, he's got like a very nice shaved head. Just missed this spot here. This one's really kind of gnarly looking too. I like it. I like the, the changes to the weapon as well. This one looks a little more sophisticated and nice. Like he's got kind of the, the lightweight stock there and the looks a little modern, to be honest. I don't know. Got some neon stuff going on there. Okay, this one, it's the same thing just to read. Well, it's not the same thing, right? Oh no, it is the same thing. It just, I don't know why his black hair just makes him look a lot different in this one to me for some reason. I don't know. You got his, uh, you know, look at the Irish there. The pipe again and the top hat. And it's basically just a recolor of that one. Well, not, not totally. There's actually some different there so there you go and then you got his actual recolors which i mean they're okay but again i do like his default quite a bit too so i don't know i like his a lot i'm gonna put him in a i appreciate his quite a bit all right pyramid head first off his default one is insanely good like just real tough looking real cool just massive hulking like he looks way more intimidating than even i remember him from silent hill that's just there's a lot I like about just his default skin. And somebody somebody has told me that this weapon is actually half of a giant scissor. So it's, it's a, it, instead of scissors, it's a scissor. I, I don't know how that works. Anywho, but that just makes it even more terrifying. So I love how the weapon is blighted here as well. He's got like horns coming out of his metal, I don't know, helmet. The molten one, this one's intense. Like the burns on his body and just the, the melted sword slash scissor. Slash. This one's definitely a sword right here. I think the default looks like a scissor, but again, I don't know if this singular for half of a scissors, a pair of scissors, because I guess it's a pair of scissors, right? Pass me a pair of scissors. So would half of that just be a scissor? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go with yes for right now. But uh, this one, this one's real gnarly looking. This one, 
And then this one's the most gnarly of all, I think. This one's almost pinhead style, but it's pyramid head. Pyramid pinhead. Anyways, sorry, bad joke. Anyways, I don't know what the little gnarly uh, vine things growing on him are, but he looks like just shredded. And then we're back to kind of the half of the scissor there. And yeah, man, he just looks gnarly. I love his. His are S tier for sure. He doesn't have a lot of them, but the ones he does have, it, <laughs> they're all winners in my book. So I love his. All right. Next up, we have Blight. I like his standard one pretty well. This one's cool. It's part of the Greek set. This one's real gnarly looking. His nose, man, what happened? Like the nose looks gross just to begin with. And then he's got his jaw thing hanging off there with the what is going on with the veins that are all purple? I guess he he did he he used some weird serum on himself, I guess. I don't know for that one. This one, he's all like bandaged up and oozing out the top hat. I don't know why that cracks me up, but it does. This one, they change him up quite a bit, too. He's got the top hat, the look of the Irish one, my terrible Irish accent. And then we got the recolors. I don't know. His are OK, uh, except this is one of my favorite skins in the entire game. Instant like Blight. I'm not putting Blight in S tier, but if I was just to rank this one skin, it's an instant S tier with the changes in the voices, the, the voice lines. I mean, just it's so good. This one is so good. As a Resident Evil fan, this is spot on. I love it. They did such a good job bringing this in the game. I love that he's also now like he goes from being short to very tall. <laughs> like Nemesis is one of the only ones that I know of that actually gets cut off by the top of the screen uh, by the menu at the top. And he's he's the second one now. So and I think a uh, Blight's blighted skin is one of the best blighted skins in the game for sure. This one's just real gnarly where you got like the flowers popping out of his face like he no longer has a face. It's just like the entity claws popping out of him. It's just, it's real gnarly. So he's he's got some really good ones and then ones that I'm just kind of eh about. Uh, where do I put him though? Because I love, absolutely love a couple of his. Most of the others I'm just sort of met on. So I'm going to put him B tier because of the ones I love that I would put S tier. I put his Blighted Skin S tier and I'd obviously put his William Birkin Skin S tier. The rest of them, uh, I don't know. So, anywho. All right, now we have Twins. Twins needs more skins, to be honest. They're kind of cool. They're kind of cool. This weapon's awesome. I do, this is what I appreciate about the Twins. Each of the weapons, the changes in her weapon are really cool. They all look like things that she just scavenged together, which is lore accurate and just used as a weapon. Those are all great. The actual skins themselves, they are okay. A lot of recolors. It's like, well, if you want her hat to be red, you can do that or white or patterned, I guess, but they're not, they're okay. Just really, I don't know. The weapons are good. The weapons are great, I would say. Her skins, putting them C tier. I don't, I don't love them. I don't love the skins. I, I'm only putting it in C tier because of the weapons, because the weapons are so good. The actual skins themselves, I would probably stick D tier, to be honest. She needs more skins. Behavior has just like completely forgotten about the twins. Anyways, and the reason why I say she needs more skins is because Victor, I guess, because it's her power, he can't have skins or something weird like that. So technically she needs more skins, even though it's a pair. All right, so next up we have Trickster and I mean, his are fitting for him. I'm gonna be, is this, this is the Hooked on You collection. Okay, I was like, I hadn't seen this one before. This one's neat, I like this one. He's got this one, which I think, did I hear recently this changes his voice lines? Which is a nice touch. This creeps me out with the skin missing and the shape of a heart. Ugh. I don't know. This I don't rec I don't remember this one. This one's really cool. I like this one a lot. The roses on his bat. This one, you know, neat, I guess. This one's this one's one, probably one of his better ones in my opinion. I like the the kind of techy look with all the neon. This one, yeah. I like the bat on this one quite a bit actually. Now that I say it. It kind of sort of doesn't cuz it's purple neon against his red outfit, which is a little weird. I would think that it would want to glow red, but that's just me. These are okay. Recolors of themselves. And then his actual recolors do, or I guess his, no, they kind of all, no, they, some of them change up his, his, like the patterns quite a bit, but others of them don't. I guess, I guess the brown ones do not change up the pattern, but the yellow ones do change up the pattern, I guess. So a couple extra. I don't, I don't love his. His are, his are going to be C tier. I don't, I don't love his. His are okay. His are better than D tier, but not, mm, they're, they're not great. I don't, I don't super love them. That's what I'm trying to say. So, anywho. All right, Nemesis. Nemesis has two. He's got this one, which is spot on from the game. 
wonderfully perfect. I think they nail just the look of him and making him look intimidating. And then you got his Blighted Serum, which I understand is uh, forcing out kind of his second mutation state here. He's got his eyes kind of just being obscured there and the bulging of all the muscles. And then somebody pointed out, it looks like he's wearing sandals. It, it kind of does. He's busting out of his shoes there. This one looks real tough. I, I, I love Nemesis's... Nemes, Nemesis's... Nemesis? Oh, words are so hard. I love his skins a lot. I think they're perfect. Are they S tier perfect? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. I'm going to put them A tier. I feel really good about them. I don't know that I want to put them up in S tier, but I feel really good about them. Even though he's only got the two. I wish he had more. Pinhead. So Pinhead, his utterly disturbs me. I think they're pretty stinking accurate to the movie. You got the chatter here, which is just utterly disturbing. The whole concept of the movies is disturbing. So just, oh, I don't know. And then this one, like, looks real tough. And then you spin him around back and you're just like, just uh, creepy. Just uh, the shutters, just looking at his back. Like, oh gosh, like this, this one, it's like, it feels a little more reserved with the whole like self-flagellation thing. But then that, and you're just like, oh, okay. Very, very grotesque. So his, his are good. I don't, again, I don't love them. His are, I'm going to put him C tier. I like him more than D tier but I don't love them and there's not that many to choose from and I don't love the ones that we have and they gross me out and not in a good way. Hillbilly had some that were both gross and I also thought they were pretty cool. Pinheads has those just that gross me out in like a heebie-jeebies sort of way, like in a way that I don't like. <laughs> so, all right, next up we have Artist. And Artist, I think she is one of the best design killers in the game as far as her like just appearance. She is creepy and beautiful at the same time. Horror and beauty just intermixed so wonderfully. I think just her base skin is one of the best in the game. And then I love some of like this, the Alice in Wonderland one. I, I don't know, it's kind of weird and works for her at the same time. I don't know how to say that. The tail is all like wrapped around her leg, which is interesting. The wings and they, some, they somehow make this work for her. I don't know. This one is deeply unsettling. Holy crud just with the jaw missing and opening up like where her throat is, is now the bottom of her jaw. And she's got those teeth like, Whoa, that's distressful. This one's kind of elegant. Again, they, they do a good job of the beauty and the horror mixing together. Cause it's like, there's so much about these skins that are maybe not that one, but there's so much about these skins that is both beautiful and terrifying at the same time, which is just how I would sum up her whole character. This one's just cool. It's a little weird because her face is now like an ice shard, but it's, it's, I don't know. I, I, this is probably my favorite of the winter skins. And then again, just, you got the recolors, but her base skins are so nice. I think hers are so well done. She's an S tier for me, even though she doesn't have a lot to choose from. I pretty much think all of hers are very well done. So um, I'm going to put her in S tier. Maybe not the highest S tier, but she's S tier. Next up we have Onryo. And Onryo, again, you have two to choose from. This is like perfect from the movie. Looking at this just creeps me out. They did such a good job. They nailed it. And then this one somehow makes her more scary and more disgusting. I guess I wouldn't call her base skin disgusting. It's just creepy. This one is disgusting and creepy. Like, holy cow. How do you make her more terrifying? This is how. Like, hers, hers are great. Hers are great. She's another S tier. She's only got two to choose from and somehow found her way into S tier for me. I, hers are great. Fantastic. Well done. All right, next up we have Dredge, or The Dredge. Everything about The Dredge is nightmare fuel. His base skin, terrifying, utterly horrid. Then you got the doll skin. How do you make The Dredge more terrifying? You make him a mass of dolls. Like, holy crud. This one is probably the most terrifying skin in the game. I don't know if I've already said that, but if I did, I'm trumping that with this. I, this one's horrifying for sure. You got the Maurice skin, which I love. Like, I just, I think that's hilarious and also truly unsettling at the same time. And then you've got th th whatever this abomination is. I mean, holy crud, what is happening with the head there? It's like a head made up of hands. Blah. I don't know if we need to look at his recolors. His recolors are okay. But just these, just his base skin and then these three here. Ooh, pure nightmare fuel. So well done. He's another S tier. Yeah. Okay. So I, you know, I was wondering, should I put the A tier ones in S tier? Yeah. No, this is, this is, this is a good S tier category. 
So we're leaving everybody. We're going to leave everybody. I feel I feel good about how everybody is paired together. And now I feel good about what S tier is now that we've got to the end. Yeah, that head is just so disturbing. Oh, gosh. Then I think we had Wesker. So here's the problem. Wesker is kill switched right now. So I can't show you his vanilla outfit because you can't even select Wesker. It sort of looks like this, but without all the blighted stuff. And then you got his stars uniform, which I think is great. I love this. And then his blighted outfit is amazing too, where it, it kind of shows him keeping the blighted serum under control because of the virus in him. This is the only problem I have with this skin. If you hover over here, it said nobody could predict the complex interactions that would occur between the serum and the Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Words are hard. But that didn't stop him from testing it on himself. There's one problem with this skin. You got that flavor test. You got that flavor text. Again, words are hard. But if you spin him around, it's in his back. I, I, I feel like the explanation could be that he just subjected himself to Blight's tests. And it was actually Blight who injected him, but he's testing it on himself, meaning he was voluntary in the whole process. Okay, so that is the explanation that I use in my head to make it work. But it just seems a little bit weird. Like it's written as though he tested it on himself. Like he was the one who injected himself, but it's in his back. I mean, I guess he could have like, you know, tentacled out, grabbed it and stuck it in his back. And yeah, it would have worked, but it's, it just seems more easy to just stick it in your arm, you know? So I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity because they all have it injected in their back. And then he's the one who obviously was willing and like actually wanted to test it on himself. And I think it just would have been better if they'd taken that and stuck it in his arm. Instead, it would have just been a nice little lore detail that I would have soaked up quite a bit. So otherwise, I just kind of have to make it work in my head. So anyways, I mean, it is, like I said, it works, but it, I think it would have been cooler to have him actually inject himself with the skin as well. But the weapon's really cool. His are great. I love the stars one. I run the stars one all the time which is why when I was trying to switch him back to their defaults, I couldn't because he's kill switched, but his default is okay. I don't love his default. I really love his stars uniform. His are good. I'm going to put him A tier. He's, he's good. He's solid. I'll put him with Nemesis. I feel good about that. All right, next up we have Knight. Okay, so Knight's got a lot of recolors, which is kind of sad to me. His base one is really cool. The recolors are okay. Not great, but the base skin is cool. I really like if you're going to put a knight into a horror game, this is the way you do it. He kind of looks like an emo Lancelot with his hair kind of drooping out, but he's real cool, real intimidating. Definitely fits the horror vibe for sure. This one is sweet. I like this one a lot. I think this one is great. And then you got this. Is this one of the Greek inspired ones? I don't know. Spectral Mercenary. Maybe not. I don't know. This is, I guess this is just, I don't know if this is part of a set or something, but this one's insane, like with the sword sticking out of him. His are really, really good. I like his a lot. He's only got the handful. And I know he's got a um, a rift one that I didn't unlock, so I can't show that one off. But from what I remember of that one, that was pretty cool too. But these, this is definitely my favorite for sure. Kind of a Plague Doctor armor thing going on. But I think his are, his are real neat. He's, he's an A tier too. So I know we're putting, we put a lot in C tier and we're putting... A hefty amount into the upper tiers for sure but i mean to be honest the, the skins in this game are so well done especially for the killers i actually think the killers are better done than the survivors so in my in my personal opinion across the board as a whole okay there's some survivor ones which are really cool but as a whole i think the other side of the game skins are great in my opinion that was a long ramble but anyways our next up we have scully now if you've watched me talk about skull merchant before you got a lot of recolors and we got this one just kind of her fancy outfit and then very like mechanical looking face mask and thing. And we got this one, which is which is neat. And I really like her. I like her rift one a lot. Her current rift one is pretty cool. Here's my, here's my problem with Skull Merchant. I get that they're taking the two sides of her personality. She's this wealthy billionaire, right? But she's also this engineer type. And they're trying to merge this kind of industrial engineer get the job done type mentality, garage mechanic side of her, and this more fancy, likes the nice stuff, and they're trying to merge it together, which is why you have her in overalls with this crafted mechanical arm and then a blinged out face mask. But here's my problem. The two don't line up together to me because she's literally got her weapon duct taped to her arm 
and you want to tell me that she took the time, rather than to craft something a little more sturdy than duct tape, she took the time to bling out her face mask. To me, it doesn't make sense. It's like contradictory. I understand that she can have two different sides to her personality. Like, I like camping. I also like RGB and stuff like that. But the two don't mix together very well. You don't see me out in the wilderness with a tent lit up with RGB is what I'm trying to say. So to me, I would have loved it more had they brought out those two sides in the different skins rather than try to cram them into every single skin that they make for her. Because here, she's got a blinged out face mask. This one's not as bad because it's it's not blinged out in this one, but her default one, let's me, yeah, so her, this is closer to the default one where she's got this blinged out face mask, but this very industrial arm that is duct taped to her actual arm. Like put a little more engineering there and a little less bedazzling here is what I'm saying. That That's just what bothers me about it. It's You've got the mechanic overalls, the duct tape, just the industrial, like, get the job done, and then you've got the, but I like the fancy stuff, too, in the same product, and I, 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 I don't like that. And then here, you've got the reversed. The outfit itself is, like, the fancy, and then you've got the industrial arm again, which makes sense, but then you've got the, the industrial face mask. So take this face mask, put it on her default skin, take this face mask, and put it on this skin, and I think you've You've nailed it. Bring up both sides of her personality in different skins. This one's a little weird too because you got the very industrial, gnarly looking thing, but then you've got the kind of, hey, cosplay, blinged out, nice, you know, kind of dress here. You got the high tech over here, but then the very like low tech, gnarly mechanic. I, I, it just seems like we're mixing fancy with just get the job done kind of garage mechanic style and we're mixing them together and we're trying to force it together in every skin. And I think the, the, the Rift skin is the one that I think just encapsulates her the best. Now, it doesn't encapsulate her. It, it brings out one side of her personality holistically the best. And it's the most cohesive. Where a lot of these other ones are just less... This I don't know. This one's neat. There's a lot going on here. But the other ones just seem kind of... There's some cognitive dissonance going on there for me. I don't know if that's the right term. But it's it just... There's something I don't like about the bedazzled with the you know, so some of her recolors actually change the face mask and make it a little so that one's bedazzled that one's bedazzled that one's bedazzled. okay never mind these are bedazzled but they okay so it's the yellow ones that actually change and make her face mask work a little more for me not so much that one that one still feels fancy this one feels a little more industrial like so they start they start working a little bit this one's a little more cohesive throughout like the mechanic overalls are a little bit fancier but again, I don't know why she's got duct tape on her arm to keep this thing attached to her arm. Like, all this engineering, you engineer these drones, you engineer the, the little hacker thing, that, or the tracker. I don't know what the face mask is even supposed to be doing. Like, it seems like she should have some heads-up display, but anyways, she's still got to look at her Palm Pilot from, you know, 1990. But yeah, just, it's not cohesive. Anyways, I'm, I've been ranting about that way too long. I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. She's, she's C tier for me. I get what they're going for. I think they should have just went for it with different bring out one side of her personality with one skin and one side of her personality with the other skin and i think they would have nailed it but i don't know on the whole not a not a big fan how it seems to contradict all right now we have the singularity our newest one and this is actually my first time looking at these other i, I mean i've obviously seen his base skin which i think looks real gnarly now the cool thing about the singularity this is so everybody wanted a cyborg killer and we basically got the cyborg killer we just wanted the skull merchant to be the cyborg killer and it's this isn't like behavior's response to that because these take them a year to make from what I understand so that means they already had a cyborg killer planned back when they released the skull merchant and we all thought she was supposed to be a, a cyborg killer and we're all disappointed so and behavior just kind of bit their tongue and we're like you will be satisfied here in the next chapter so anyways good on them for uh keeping that a secret but anyways so we got a cyborg killer but it's a reverse cyborg my understanding is that, you know, most cyborg is like, okay, they start as human and they become machine or at least part machine. This one, Hux, became what started as an AI and then adapted machine parts and then adapted in uh, the, 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 uh, the biological bits. So it's a, it's a machine trying to become more human. So it's a cyborg in reverse, which is a really neat concept, if you ask me. It's not just a machine. It's an actual, it's a machine trying to become more biological in nature, which I think is a really neat concept. And overall, it's just real gnarly. Like it's real, it, it seems a little bit like inefficient, if you ask me, I guess. But it looks like, I, I, again, I haven't read the lore yet, but 
it looks like it's trying to replace pieces of it at a time. So it's got kind of the same leg appendages going on here, but here it's obviously replaced it with some biological components. So it's a little bit haggard that way. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. I, I love the detail here, the moving bits, the kind of like, what is this going on? You got a little schnot, blue schnot on your uh, arm there. I guess he, you know, sneezed into his elbow and didn't wipe it off or something. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, can a cyborg sneeze? I don't know. But there's a lot going on here that I like. And then there's this one. This is the first time I'm looking at this one. So it looks like did it, this is obviously parts of a spacesuit kind of crafted over. It looks like it's been attached over. So I'm not really sure what's happening here. You are what you kill. An AI has no need for a helmet in the vacuum of space. So why are you wearing one then, I guess? Standard issue for those he killed made one with his wretched body and a clinical blade better for bloodletting. That weapon's gnarly for sure. It, it's cool. I'm not like super in love with them, to be honest. It's okay. Uh, I feel it, it's higher than C tier for me, but it's not higher than, but some of the, I don't know. There's a lot of potential there. I, I'm gonna put him at a low B, a low B. Uh, he would be the lowest in the B category in my head, but I don't feel, I wanna put him higher than C. So I, I'm left in a bit of a predicament because I almost don't feel like he belongs in B, but I don't feel like he belongs in C either. So if I could put them in between, I would, but that's obviously against the rules. Anyways, that being said, here are my rankings. These are the ones that I really like or really don't like. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Which ones do you like? Which ones do you dislike? Where did you agree or disagree with me the most? Again, these are all just my opinions. What I like may not be what you like, and that's totally okay. Just let me know. I love chatting with you down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, will you please let me know by hitting that like button and a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. All of that helps me out in a huge way. It tells YouTube to send this video to more people. I want to take a moment to thank our channel members for their support of the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel by becoming a member, hit that join button below to learn more. I also have a Discord server, so if you'd like to join, you can click the link in the description. And as always, you are awesome, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.